D.E. Daniels Lion's Den Ministries, featuring Reverend Donald E. Daniels Sr. Preaching God's Word for more than 30 years. Believing that God can transform lives. That those who believe and trust in God can change and have a better day. God will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. Today's message, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Psalms 136. Now let's hear Reverend Daniel. This is the day the Lord has made, and let us rejoice and be glad in it. I love these days, and I love to be in, in the land of the living because I love sharing these daily devotions with you. Today, the Lord put upon my heart Psalms number 136. You probably know this one very well. It says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. For his mercy endureth forever. 
O oh, give, give thanks unto the Lord, the God of gods, for his mercy endure forever. O oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endure forever. To him who alone doeth great wonders, his, for his mercy endure forever. And I just want to take as a brief devotional Today, for his mercy, endure forever. You ought to turn to someone or take someone and say, God's mercy endure forever. That may not mean a lot to some people, but to those of you who have fallen short of the glory of God, for his mercy endure forever. For those of you who have made mistakes in your life and thought pretty much that you had no reason to go on for his mercy endured forever. Those of you that might have had thoughts to end your life because of present or past situations for his mercy endured forever. For those of you who find yourself alone and all of your friends are gone, they've even either passed away or they just stopped calling and stopped connecting with you for his mercy endured forever. This psalmist woke up one day and looked around and said, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. We don't know much about this psalmist. We don't know. If the psalmist was David, we don't know if the psalmist uh, was one of those who journeyed from uh, Babylon to Jerusalem, uh, the songs of degree. We, we don't know if, if, if that is one of these people, but we do know that they woke up one day and they said, oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. They could have been in the midst of trials and tribulations. They could have been in the midst of a great storm could have been in the midst of a great fire. They could have lost all of their possessions. But they said, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is, his mercy endureth forever. God is good. And we say that a lot, and some people will, will criticize us because we have nothing more to say than God is good. But as the psalmist says, oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good and his mercy. Hallelujah, somebody. Endure forever. The psalmist goes on to look back over time. Probably time before he even existed. And talk about how God hung the sun and the moon in the sky for his mercy endure forever. How he did great wonders, such as bring his people out of Egypt for his mercy endured forever. When they came to the Red Sea and they were about to give up hope, oh, he helped them cross for his mercy endured forever. I want you tomorrow morning when you get up out of bed, wake up with a smile on your face. I don't care if it's raining. Snowing, I don't care if, if, if the wind is, is blowing a hundred miles an hour. Find a reason to say, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. May God bless you and may God keep you is our prayer. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this word. We pray that it is an encouragement to your people. We pray that they will not look down upon themselves and feel bad and give up hope. But we pray that their hope and their trust is in you for your mercy endure forever. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and God keep you.